वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन हाउ टू जनरेट द लार्जर डीले यूजिंग द टाइमर्स इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइमर वन इन मोड वन टू जनरेट द लार्जर डीले ना इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू जनरेट द डीले एंड हाउ टू कैलक्युलेट दी काउंट वैल्यू फॉर टाइमर वन इन मोड वन एज आवर मोड वन इज अ सिक्सटीन बिट टाइमर सो द मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ डीले दैट इट कैन जनरेट इज सिक्स फाइव फाइव थ्री सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन पॉइंट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो सेकेंड सो दिस वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी अप्रॉक्सिमेटली सेवेंटी वन मिली सेकेंड सो यू कैन जनरेट अ डीले ऑफ सेवेंटी वन मिली सेकेंड्स विथ दिस बट वॉट इफ I want to generate a delay of say 500 milliseconds with the same mode. So in this video, I am going to focus on this uh, same topic. So see how to generate the uh, count value and how to load. So all these things I have explained in detail in my previous videos of timer. So you can refer those videos. I will provide the link in the uh, description box. Now see if you want to generate a delay of 500 milliseconds. what you can do is you can generate a delay of 50 milliseconds that means you calculate the count value and all for 50 milliseconds and call this delay routine 10 times in your program so you have to use one for loop for calling the delay of 50 milliseconds so this 50 milliseconds is not a standard value you can also generate a delay of 25 milliseconds and call it 20 times that is also possible but um, as you increase the number of iterations then it may um, lead to some uh, uh, less accuracy so it's better to uh, reduce the count value as far as possible so here i am considering a delay of 50 milliseconds designing a delay of 50 and i am going to call it uh, 10 times in my program now in my last video i have already calculated the count value for 50 milliseconds and that value is 4 bfd so 4 bfd is a value that i have already calculated so here i am going to load my th1 register uh, with a value of 4b and tl1 register with a value of f1 okay so now we'll uh, start writing the uh, program and then we'll check the output on the logic analyzer so let's go to the kill i will open the kill software first i will explain you how to uh, generate a project from the beginning so click on the project and new microvision project so here you have to give the name of the project so i will give the name larger delay 1 okay so save this project then you select the device that you want to use So here we are using eight nine C five one. Click on OK. Startup file is not required here. Click on File and New. And here you start writing your main program. So in the main program, the first important thing is you have to add the header file. So in this case, our header file is hash into reg fifty one dot h. So reg fifty one dot h is a header file for Eight zero five one microcontroller, which contains all the definitions of that controller. Then here I am going to write a separate function for uh, generating a delay, and therefore here I need to declare that particular function. So I will declare it. So T one M one delay. Give some appropriate name uh, to this function. So I am using a timer one in mode one. So I am giving the name like this and the semicolon. and now you start writing your main program so void main open the bracket now here we are going to declare the variable so now just now i have told you that i am using a for loop here for calling the delay routine 10 uh, times in my program and for this purpose i need one uh, variable so let us declare a variable x for this now uh, in this uh, main program uh, actually i am going to toggle the port p2 and toggling is uh, you are going to make it 1 and 0 but the initial pattern that i am going to load in this is 0 x 55 so when i toggle this port the value will become aa okay 
Now I want to repeat this process. So I am using a while one loop. And now in while one loop I am going to write my logic. So here I am going to toggle the port P2. So P2 is equal to tilt P2. So this is operator for negation or um, toggling. And now you call a delay routine. So here you write a for loop. So for x is equal to 0 to x less than uh, 10 because I have started it from 0 write it x plus plus and in this for loop you have to call the delay routine so p1 m1 delay so this is a call to my function so this is what is your programming and now the important thing is you have to write the uh, definition for the function that is a delay so let us write it so void give the name p1 m1 delay void now the first thing in this is you have to uh, mention the value in the t mod register so t mod register is basically for deciding or telling that you are using which timer in which mode okay so here we are using a timer 1 in mode 1 so i am going to load the value 0 x 1 uh, 0 okay now after this i am going to load the count value so tl1 is equal to now in my uh, this discussion i have already told about the value so tl1 is 0 x fd this is a value I have already calculated for 50 milliseconds delay. So that video you have to refer for calculations. And in TH1, I am going to load 0xfb. Okay. So 0xfb is the value. Okay. So after loading the count into the timer, now you have to start the timer. So for starting the timer, we are using a TR bit that is a timer run bit. Now once you start the timer, your timer will start counting from the value, uh, sorry this value is not FB, it is a 4B, no? value is just a, yeah, 0x4B, so I will just make a change. Okay. So your timer starts counting from the value 4BFD to FFFF because that is a maximum value for mode 1 and once it reaches FFFF, uh, then it will again roll back to uh, 0, 0 and whenever there is a rollback at that time it will set the overflow flag. So here we are going to uh, check the overflow flag. So unless and until it is 0 that means it is not set that means still the delay is not completed it will be on the same instruction but when it will become 1 then at that time the meaning is the delay is completed and it, your timer has been overflowed or rolled back and now you have to stop your timer. So after this, when this TF1 becomes 1, actually it will come out of the loop and then you have to stop your timer. So write the instruction TR1 is equal to 0 for stopping the timer and also clear this uh, TF bit, TF1 bit for the next iteration. So these things you have to do in the uh, delay routine. So, this is only a simple program. See, for your uh, information, I will also add the uh, comment in 2 minutes. So, this represents your timer 1 in mode 1. Now, these next two instructions are for uh, loading the count value for 50 millisecond delay. Okay, this is uh, lower byte and this is higher byte. This TR1 is just for start the timer and here now you have to uh, wait for checking the overflow. So wait for TF1 here I can write wait for this T sorry wait for TF1 to roll over. Okay. So roll over means it will change from FFFF to 00. Okay, so once it overflows, now you have to 
stop the timer because the delay is completed and clear the overflow flag for the next iteration. Clear TFR. So this is what is a, a simple program. I hope you have understood it. So I will just give a name. So 500 milliseconds delay using timer 1 in mode 1 ok now save this file so click on save and here give the name larger delay 1 dot c here you have to give the extension and save the file now you have to add this file in the source group so right click and click on add existing file and here give the name of the file so you will find the file so this is a file larger delay 1.c add and close so here is a file and now you have to set the frequency this is very important because we have did the calculation uh, for the frequency of 11.0592 megahertz so here you need to change this frequency now click on ok and save and simply compile the program okay there is one error at line number 17 uh, okay so here by mistake i have written voice so let us check again save and okay now it's okay zero error zero warning now we'll check the output of this program uh, on port 2 and using the logic analyzer okay so on logic analyzer you can measure your delay so go to debug and take this to logic analyzer here you have to do some settings for logic analyzer so what are those settings so just see this so here you have to go to this setup and click on new or insert and here you want to check the waveform at port 2 so enter port 2 and select this so click on close here you have to select the signal info and cursor okay and simply run the program so here is a waveform so just stop this and measure the delay so on time is nothing but your delay is so try to match the cursors over here and see the output now see here here see uh, this uh, reading below the delta is nothing but your generated delay it is 0. Uh, I think 503 is a delay value. So, again, measure here once again. Yes, see, now you can see it clearly. So, exactly match the cursor, otherwise, that will also get reflected in the result. 0 0.507 seconds, that means it is equal to 507 milliseconds. Okay. So, this is how you can generate the larger delays using the timer one in mode one so if you like my video then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share the video with your friends thank you guys thank you so much